What was that? Phoenix knew Phaethon's resting place must be inside. I could use a resting place myself. How much longer is this going to take? Phaethon's the one who insisted on driving the chariot. Why are we dragging this old memory back up? Of course it was going to be that one. The charioteer. The constellation of the charioteer <sighs> had been created by Helios himself. This is where he fell. His sisters. Phoenix knew this story, as she knew many others. These trees were Phaethon's sisters. They had stood where their brother crashed until Helios turned them into trees, so that they could watch over him forever. This is what I've been saying all along. This is what dwelling in the past gets you. They're stuck here. They lost their lives as well. We have to look forward. You are just a boy. You wanted to be known, to be a part of something. Now there's nothing to show you were ever here. I'm sorry. But Phoenix was wrong. We remember Phaethon. That's not nothing. I'm, I'm not saying we shouldn't remember him. Perhaps there is a place somewhere between living in the past and never looking back. Perhaps sometimes we simply pause and remember. I'm sorry, Phaethon. Yes, gigantic lady? I see. This is all over. We commission you to restore the Golden Isle to its former glory. But with more painting. Another appreciator? Things are really coming up mean, really. Cheap, hideous art splayed across the once beautiful land. I shall call the project. Get rid of my husband. G-R-O-N-H. I'm still working on the name. You have to come up with something short and snappy that people can chant. 
Ah, loving this ensemble, Phoenix. Though you could change once in a while. I killed the Spartoi soldiers like you asked. Consider yourself vengeanced. Ah, excel! Excellent! I mean, excellent! I was a chicken for too long. Oh, the nightmares. I looted the armor off them, too. The pieces were broken, but I fixed them up at the forge. Hephaestus' forge? First time it was operated by an artist with actual skill. Thanks, I think. It's hard to see the compliment through the shade. A good warrior needs great armor. Swords don't mess around. Let Typhon try to take from me again. He'll have to learn to live with no teeth. But let him try. You're here. When I came out of the vault, I thought something happened. Something's always happening. Something bad. How did you get here? I might have helped. You made my winged helmet and sandals? I saved you and brought you here. So, you know, what even? He thinks we met before. Shh, shh, shh. Just play along. Yes! Your sandals! I'm glad you like your sandals. Oh, I tried. Did you find his essence? You sure you're ready for this? Nothing bad has ever happened ever. Why would it start now? Father of invention, lend me your sword, your spear, your arrow. Transform the darkness to light our way. Welcome back, old friend. You okay, big guy? I remember. Everything. Give it time. There's one thing I still don't understand. With no memory, how did you leave clues leading to Typhon's vault? Not Typhon's. Mine. I suffered so long, I was so tired. Before Typhon came, I used Pandora's box many times to trap my inner torments in that vault. I had a system. I created the clues so I could find my way back. Typhon found me defenseless. I let that monster turn me into one of my automatons. I even enjoyed it. Because automatons feel nothing at all. But your clues! You should have been able to retrieve your own essence. Steropis and Brontis, my assistants, double-crossed me. They took the first clue. The one directing me to light the forge fires, and burned it. No, there's nothing more evil than irony. In doing so, they made sure my prison was permanent. They paid for their crimes. Good. They stole armor I'd been forging. Consider it yours. And, speaking of payment, I at least owe this You're going to need it for what we must do next. We're going to steal something. Oh, yes! To protect hope from the clumsiness and sorrow of mortals, Zeus hid its fragile form somewhere near my forge. There, behind the locked door, hope waits. We must release it. I found the key to that locked door in your forge lands. But how do we release hope? Together. That box is now ready for its task. 
May the light of a thousand forges guide your way. Well, I'm here. In a temple dedicated to the gods who don't like me. They just don't understand you. Talk to them. They'll get the crafty inventor angle in no time. Hermes is right. Just be yourself. Don't! Uh, don't do that. Keep that for your art. What kind of advice is that? You want him to end up on a neighborhood watch list? Your wife is a lovely woman, for the most part. She wouldn't want you calling her that. Lovely? My wife. So, how are you getting along with Ares? So good. That's so great. Can't think of a better god than Ares. I have this design for a retractable spear. So he goes to stab someone, and it just retreats into the handle. He'll be wide-eyed, of course, right as they plunge a blade deep into his stomach. Excuse me? Oh, did I say that out loud? Have you been handling animals for Aphrodite? How did you know? You smell of fur. She always smelled like that when she forgot to scent herself with Rosé. Oh, I know what to get her for her birthday now. No one else gets her perfume. I'm talking about the wine that she drinks. To tolerate my presence, she says. I saw you bring Ares a bronze pot. What was that all about? I had to get something for him that was uh, trapped inside. What was it? Nothing. I don't think you want to know. Tell me. I won't freak out, I promise. I can't! It's Aphrodite's. <laughs> oh, she's hiding things inside Eris's pot now, is she? What else is she hiding? In, say, Eris's kettle. Or dare I say it, his casserole dish. Hey, these almighty. I just need to work on those battle axes. Make them gleam. Big guy's having a hard time today. Aphrodite's back to her old self. Sorry, Hephaestus. I'm staring my inadequacy right in the face. Want me to blindfold you? I have one close by for... reasons. He may think he scares me, but he doesn't. Are you talking about Ares? I've been waiting for this moment. A moment to tell him what I really think of him. Which is? You'll have to read my epic tell-all poem. I've regained my memory, but still can't remember my mother's birthday for the life of me. Look at him over there, Mr. Forge and Flame! <laughs> More like bore and shame! Am I right? Up top! I can't high-five you. You barely fit in the hall, even with your arms at your sides. I don't get why Aphrodite hasn't left him yet. Have you seen me? <laughs> have you? Uh, yes. I have seen you. Wait. Stop. Stop. Ares, are you jealous? Of what? His smarts? His rustic half-lumberjack, half-hipster barista vibe? And that cool hammer. I know. I'd kill for that hammer. I mean that literally. I would literally kill for that hammer. It's okay, Ares. Your secret boy crush, I mean, your jealousy, is safe with me. Speak for yourself. Any Electrum burning a hole in your pocket? Let Typhon try to take from me again. He'll have to learn to live with no teeth. 
but let him try. Hey, so about Hephaestus. Do you think I need to go over there and talk to him? A piece of no. I wouldn't. He's still going through a lot. I might wait for him to come to you. Right. Wouldn't want to be insensitive. But I'll just stay here, politely ignoring... I, I mean, waiting. They're <laughs> just still flying at my hair. I think they're looking for more apples. <laughs> Where's Eris' spear when you need it? Beep, boop, beep, error. <laughs> Got you. know if you're in the market for anything.
I'm here selling if you're buying. Ha! <laughs> 